my name is John French. Welcome to Happy Valley. Here it is in the beginning of December and brr, it's kind of nippy out here. But onwards and upwards with the electrical motorhome project. So next we're going to talk about what kind of power we're going to supply to the electric motor so it will operate the vehicle. Well, of course, you think of electric motors, electric motorhomes, you're going to be thinking of batteries. So let's talk about batteries just for a second. Here's a battery here, and it's 12 volts, but it's not a car battery. It doesn't have enough oomph. Anyhow, a car battery is approximately 12 volts, 12, 14 volts is what they run at. And the electric motor requires 22,000 watts to run. Now, the, the calculation is we need to find out how many amps we would use at this particular configuration. So what you do is you take 22,000 watts divided by 12 volts, and that will give you something like um, 1,833 amperes, or amps as we call them. And... Uh, to, then you need a cable to carry 1,833 amperes and a copper cable to carry that would probably be something like this which would be out of our price range. I mean that's a big, big cable. So we'll have to be a little bit more practical. So the next thing is, you go, okay, what we can do is string 20 batteries together in series to give us 240 volts which is what the electric motor runs from. Now that sounds a lot better. So what we do now is if we've got 240 volts, you just dis divide 22,000 watts by 240 volts. And that will give you something like um, 91 amps or thereabouts, 91, 96. And uh, that 96 amps, a lot smaller than 1,800 amps, and your cable to carry 91 amps would probably be about this size. I would say number two THHN copper would do the job for you. So that's that part of the problem. However, the batteries create DC electricity. The electric motor runs from AC electricity. So we have to have a converter. And the apparatus used to convert the electricity from DC to AC is a, a box called an inverter. We could make that work, however, there is a slight drawback. And the slight drawback is, wait, if you have 20 batteries at approximately 50 pounds each, that's going to give you a thousand pounds of weight. That's a lot of weight to carry around in a vehicle. I mean, it's a lot of weight to get moving from stationary position to up to speed. So if you're carrying that much weight around with you, what will happen is you'll get less distance because of the weight. You were thinking batteries, is there another way of powering this vehicle? There's quite a few. We could use a generator. I don't want to use a gas generator or petrol generator because the vehicle originally was running off petrol, so what's the point of having a petrol generator? I would rather run it from something like um, compressed air or uh, propane, perhaps. That, that's an idea. Um, and what other? The steam? The steam, but then you've got pressures and things like that, so we'll figure that out next. But, of course, then we also need to have some kind of motor controller. Something that will vary the speed of the electric motor. Um, it's called a VFD, a variable frequency drive. And instead of putting resistance in the circuit, what it does is it varies the frequency of the electricity that's traveling to the motor. I mean, that's, that's just, that's brilliant, that. that's really clever. So, till the next time, we'll see you, and um, have a good Christmas.